Hello friends, once again welcome to bhpsolutions.com. My name is Amit and we are continuing to building a CFO dashboard using our source data which are extracted from Hyperion Financial Management. The financial data might be coming from any source. It could be coming from legacy ERP, the Oracle EPS people, soft SAP or simple Excel file. So in today's example, I'm going to show you how to calculate net profit growth rate factor net profit growth factor from January onwards. So my CFO like to see how my growth is net profit is growing compared to January to February, January to March, January to April and so on. Okay. So let's see how it works. As always, step first, I'm going to load the data. This is my sample data which I extracted from source. So the focus area over here, we have got net profit across different month from one entity called Stanford. All the data is in same currency USD currency. So we don't have to deal with the, any level of complexity uh, related to the currency conversion. One entity, different months, one year, all actual data for my net profit. Although I have got net profit, net sales and gross margin as well. But I'm going to filter out only for net profit. And these are your numbers, right? So step first, uh, this is my source data. I'm going to load into my uh, Tableau. There's a plus symbol. Log into your Tableau and click on this plus data source. And this is a simple text file. Click on text file, point to data file. This is my all data. This is my data file. Now, if you look at carefully, because in my source file I did not have any header, therefore all headers are missing, right? So we put all the required header over here. There are multiple headers. I'm going to put all the header. Right click, rename. This first one is going to be scenario. It will takes little time. So for the sake of simplicity, I give header only for some entities. Ent entity. I need a. This is going to be my financial element like net profit, net sales and uh, this is going to be final one is going to your data. This is your data across different months. So month I have got over here. I select month. In the same fashion you are going to select month and year as well. I am going to select year as well. Make sure you also need to pay attention to normalization of your data including data type conversion. So data type over here is numeric. I'll convert it later on to respective type. Okay. So data massaging is done. You save it. And next step, you're going to build report on top of this. Okay. So what is my requirement? I need to calculate net profit growth factor from January to onwards. Okay. So I'll see 12 month net profit. So which is my financial element? Our financial element over here, I put in a column. So my financial element consists of net profit, net sales, profit margin. I confine my focus to net profit only. Net profit and I uncheck by applying filter to net profit only. And I like to see this for all 12 months. So I simple drag and drop month and place over here. So this is what I could see. I drag and drop data. I could see net profit for last 12 months, right? You can have multiple, you can give a multiple view to your CFO. I like to give this data in terms of currencies. I change data format, make it as a currency type. Default value as a currency, standard currency. Okay. But in addition to this, a business user also like to see, a CFO also like to see the growth factor. From January to February, my net profit is growing or it is reducing. Right. So I'll take a duplicate of this sheet. Duplicate this sheet and name it as net profit growth. Net profit growth factor. So my business like to see from January to other months how my sales is growing. Keeping January as a benchmark. Okay, as a starting month. So I need to convert this data from simple calculation to table calculation. Click on table calculation. And I like to see this in terms of percentage to make it more meaningful. So different percentage, percent difference from, percent difference from is only one column. So I use table a uh, table down from first month from January to other month how my sales is growing so this is what your business like to see uh, let me cross check this shouldn't be zero value 
right so i change this from data type i roll back from currency to percent type this is done correctly but i change it from automatic type now this is correct you see so from january to february my net profit fell down by 11 percent from january to march it grown by 16 percent january to april this is how i can draw i can also display this in terms of charts so it makes sense now i can see the negative value so in the month of february i have a negative net profit in the month of july august september i have a negative net profit this is what business like to see i can also display this in terms of numbers under label so i could see the, the negative value so this is keeping january as a benchmark in addition this my business user can also see compare from one month to another month right now my net profit is comparing from january to feb february january to march and so on comparison of net profit it is january to february january to march january to april and so on so january is, is like my benchmark okay it could have done this way as well we can also do net profit month over month month over month so in order to find month over month what i'm going to do i'm not going to keep january as benchmark rather i use previous month current month versus previous month versus previous month i do this kind of benchmarking let's do this so i can duplicate this data the same data which we prepare duplicate this data right click and i call this month over month month over month uh, net profit right so once again i convert this calculation this calculation to table calculation this time i use percent difference from table down from previous month not from the first one from previous month so this is my growth factor also i change the format type is a currency i change the format to automate automatic right so now i got two view month over month net profit and net profit factor net profit factor from january month i can convert this as well to a chart bar chart okay and i put them together um, in my dashboard okay so in case you like to create a dashboard you create a dashboard view in the bottom you can create month over month net profit and net profit growth factor from january so this is how you can define a detailed view to your financial users you can format it change the layout size you know increase the size and all that you can do it so now this is net profit view from two different angle there is no percent value by looking at this number i can easily relate it in the month of february my revenue is less net profit is less as compared to january how much less it is we can also display it would be the same value for february month because comparing january to february is same isn't it so month over month the last thing i'm going to add a value over here as percentage drag and drop put over label over here 11.11 percentage whereas from february to march i could see from february to march my sales growth is 31.21 25 percent from february to march however from january to march my growth factor is 16.67 percent so this is the second part of your preparing a um, cfo dashboard in tableau in next example i'm going to show you more advanced analysis preparing a cfo dashboard on your trial balance directly so subscribe to our youtube channel and you can access multiple videos about tableau as well should you have a training and concerning requirement, please feel free to write to us. Our website is www.bispsolutions.com.